what is your main ingredient? Flour. Flour! You have to use squid ink oh. in your cooking. We have Hui's Chi Chong Fan and Chef Bob's <laughs> Michael Jackson fritters. Will you award the knife to Hui? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. You have a perfect score. Three knives. Congratulations. Oh. Rasati, what is the main ingredient now? Prawns. <laughs> huh? Just simple, right? Huh? Add custard powder to your dish. I could lose few more knives. Hopefully, not all. <laughs> will you or will you not award Rasati the knife? Yes, I will. I will not. I will not. Rasati does not win for this cook-off. In our next episode, we're going to have Hui and Zakia against celebrity chef Bala. Welcome to King of Culinary, the final showdown where Gang Ho home cooks face off against accomplished celebrity chefs. Let's welcome our three finalists. And our three chefs! I want to bring the attention to our three amazing judges. Hi, Daniel. Hello. What are you looking forward to in today's uh, cook-off? So today, I'm looking for three things. Okay. As always. Okay. Flavours, presentation, and magic. All right, well, we'll take that on board, Daniel. Thank you. Now, Chef Petrina, what advice can you give our finalists? I think be very focused and definitely keep it simple. Keep it simple? Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind as well. Chef Heiko, Hello. What, what advice would you give our chefs and our finalists? Focus on what they're doing and still have fun at the end of it. Yeah. All right, we're going to have fun. So in just a while, we're going to see who is going to be in here in the arena with me. So, Chef Bala, mm -hmm. you are now here in the arena. Okay. And you are going to have to face off against Hui and Zakia. So, Chef Bala, may I invite you to have a look at both your finalists? <laughs> Who are you going to choose to face off first? I will go with Zakia. Zakia! Why Zakia? Uh, because she's the one who won three knives in her, in Raja Culinary. Uh -huh. So I want to challenge myself. All right, Zakia, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. Excited? Yes. Ready to cook? Yes. All right, Zakia, before you start cooking, yeah. we are going to see Zakia's journey on Raja Culinary. I decided to join the Raja Culinary after I saw the advertisement. I believe that uh, a lot of people actually like my cooking and I finally feel that cooking is one of my passion. Most unforgettable experience is when I battle with uh, Chef Iskandar. Because for me, he is the strongest one and I really admire the way he cooks. So on that day, when I win against him, it's like an achievement for me. I feel happy being a champion in Raja Culinary. At the same time, I also feel a bit nervous because uh, I think there is a lot more pressure now and I have to always level up my cooking for the final showdown. I'm a Spice Whisperer and hear me raw! I really love this competition because it's so full of surprises, surprise attacks, people don't know what's going to happen next and this is the point of the show where this happens, okay? Um, so I'm going to have to ask you now, what is the main ingredient for your cook-off? I'm, I think I'm being very kind. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> really? <yeah. laughs> My main ingredient is... Uh... Rice. Why do you choose rice? Why you make it easy for him? Rice is my strength. Ah, Chef Bala, mm. rice. Half an hour. Wow! <laughs> yes! <laughs> rice in half an hour, Ken. You speed cook. <laughs> All right, you ready to go and get your ingredients? Yes, I am. All the best, Chef Bala, on your way! 
Okay, okay lah, we do dumb briyani lah. Too long briyani. Okay. Oh. No, no, she's using it to her advantage, but the production is going to screw me up with the surprise attack. Yeah, the surprise attack. Yeah. No, I can laugh. I better laugh now first, man. Yeah. <laughs> so I use the easiest one, probably chicken. Hello, they call me briyani bala in India. Wow. <laughs> You want to tell us what you are preparing for us today? Okay, uh, today I'm making a biryani. Okay, so Chef Bala, what are you going to prepare for us later? Head on, biryani. Biryani also! I was not surprised that uh, he actually made biryani because uh, I knew that one of his strengths. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, she's raring to go. The battle of the biryani will begin now! Let's go! In the meantime, I'll talk to my judges here. Chef Petrina, what are you expecting from the Battle of the Biryani? I think it will be um, flavour balance because biryani, you know, um, there's a lot of spices and all that used in it. So it's really how you balance um, the aromatics and the spices in it. Okay, so I'm going to ask Chef Eric now. Can there be different biryani flavours? I think yes, based on the spices that they, they put on, the rice has rest how long and what are the meat that goes into the rice. Zakia, are you using chicken? Yes. Coincidence, definitely. I didn't know she's going to use chicken. I experiment this gravy with uh, seafood. I think chicken is the best to absorb the flavour. How many ingredients did you say you have? 43. Uh, 43 is a very conservative number of ingredients to cook a biryani. This is a show and I have 30 minutes, so that's why we have to limit the, what are the things we are putting in. If there were more time was given, I think probably I would have about 65 to 68 ingredients. So that's why you know why biryani is expensive. <laughs> okay, I'll fry the onions in butter, is it? Ghee. Oh, ghee, I beg your pardon. Okay. Oh, I love that smell. And right now, you are putting the spices into boiling water, is it? Correct. Black lime, so bay leaf, bay leaf, mace, cardamom, and star anise. star anise. yeah. And the rice being cooked. Oh, so it's Himalayan pink salt? Yeah. Why that? Was that does it change the flavour? To me, uh, Himalayan uh, pink salt is not as salty as the table salt. Yeah. Okay. And, and there's crystallisation from the Himalayan salt. It, it actually has flavour. Usually, it's a... It's a seasoning on top to go with Post. steaks or whatever. Mm. But to use it as a seasoning for rice, I'm not sure. 30 seconds to share, but he's already on his feet. <laughs> the the, the Brani Bala is going to rushing Brandy. down here. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Oh, Come on down, Briani oh. Bala! Welcome to the arena. Here thank he goes. You, He's you. washing his hands. He's going to start working on his biryani right now. And um, don't forget, we can also ring the bell. <laughs> but that will be very um, strategically planned by Zakia. So let's just see what Chef Bala is doing right now. He's pouring water. Um, there are rice cookers behind though. Are you not going to use the rice cooker? <laughs> no. Ah. Traditional cooking. <laughs> ah, I see. Traditional. <laughs> Brani Bala versus the Rice Queen. We are going to have a real battle of the Brani on our hands. Yep. Oh, Zakia's starting to blend something. Looks very interesting. What are you blending, are there? Uh, the spices. <laughs> the spices, okay. Yeah. Well, Chef uh, Bala is putting his onions into the the oil. So it looks like... The... Oh, there you go! She's rang the bell! Stop the flames! Alright, let's just see what the surprise attack is for Chef Bala. And in front of us are three platters. A, B and C. So you are going to spring the surprise attack on Chef Bala. Which one are you choosing? B for Bala. Okay, let's see what's in store for Chef Bala. This is too tough. T W O. Two of the stove, take out. I go back home first. <laughs> this is too tough. And what does it mean? 
Chef Bala, you have to use these two ingredients in your dish. Wasabi oh. and fermented bean curd. And it has to go into your biryani. And we completely believe in you because you are the biryani bala. If there is no surprise attack, I think uh, my chances of winning might be 50-50. You have 45 ingredients now. And let us continue. The timer restarts now. Here we go. Come on, bala. I think he's thinking right now how we can create this biryani with wasabi and fermented bean curd. This is very tough because wasabi is very sharp and very distinct taste. So he cannot cover up the rest of the spices he's going to use inside. So I'm very excited to try this dish yeah. actually. Chef Bala, he got many things up his sleeves. So uh -huh. yeah, it can be done. It can be done. Uh? It wow, can be done, but, I'm excited uh... now. He's tasting the fermented bean curd now. Bala, have you used uh, fermented bean curd before? Never, Chef. Yeah, I think you didn't because this right. is uh, Chinese uh, Very, very uh, yeah. specific to a, not just Chinese but certain region. Yeah, yeah. Right? In the meantime, you have uh, sorted all the onions already. Yeah. It really smells amazing, right? The smells. Yeah. And uh, yes, she has already begun the rice, the process here already. I don't think Chef Bala has started the rice yet, has he? No. Oh, there we go. Okay. I wonder if Chef Bala has decided what he's going to do with the two surprise attack ingredients. Because it is two very difficult things to put into a biryani dish. <laughs> Green. Uh, the dish will be Hariyali chicken biryani. You reckon that we need to use all, all these spices, Chef Heiko? There's different versions of biryanis, right? There's the Hyderabad biryani, you know, there's the uh, other parts of India. So maybe. Chef, Chef Bala's biryani is a little bit more to his own style, yeah. He definitely his own style because he just added the fermented bean curd. <laughs> <laughs> we all saw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, angry, angry, yeah. Don't worry, Bala. Don't worry, man. Don't worry, man. Fermented uh, bean curd, I have not used it, but I know it's salty. So I can replace it with salt, so that's not an issue. But it'll be interesting to see how the wasabi will be used yeah. now in the rice. Yeah. I mean, because you know, in Japan, we've got a Japanese curry, right? So now we have wasabi, wasabi biryani. It's quite involved, huh? Oh, yeah. So Normally... I, think, I think basically you still, you, you really have to understand biryani, mm. what it takes to make a good biryani. Then you can start to do one. Mm. Not just blindly uh, get a recipe and just do it and you'll start it wrong. And what about time taken to cook a good biryani? It takes a good biryani probably 50 to an hour. With the curveball, <laughs> come on, Bala, let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> and Zakia has put in the chicken into the sauce. Wow! It's really, really interesting, the smell. It's, I've, I've never smelled that before. I mean, what are the spices that went into it? Coriander means cashew. Oh. Green chilli. Green chilli. Ginger garlic. Ginger and garlic, okay. Chef, I can say there's a lot of different types of biryani. All kinds, right? Uh, right. Even if in Malaysia, also they have their biryani, not biryani dam, but biryani gum. Okay, we've got about 13 minutes. Chef Bala's biryani looks beautiful with, with the different colours that are there right now. Well, what is that you're squeezing? Pine flower extract. Pine flower extract. Okay, interesting. I've never, I've never heard of that before. Is it from the pine tree, Chef Bala? Yeah, that's right. Mm. Ah, so we can use it for ice creams, for sauces, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Wow, okay. Because normally it's used in, you know, like in... It's rose water that yeah. people use, so mm. I changed it. It's my version. Ah, they're both doing the same thing right now. Adding the, the meat into the rice. One is green, one is red. Okay, we've got 12 minutes left. The Har Hariali biryani here with Zakia and Chef Bala's biryani with fermented bean curd. And what was that you just took out of the fridge? Huh? Yogurt. Yogurt. Ah. So I'm going to mix the yogurt and the wasabi. Wasabi has got um, a, a peculiar flavour to it. So if I want to cut that flavour, I had to mix it with something else. So yogurt is the best because it's got sourness to it. So that spiciness will calm it down and then, you know, go with the rice. And what's happening over here, Zakia? I'm just cooking the rice. Oh, okay. What are you doing with it now, the banana? So, I'm going to actually cook oh. this again. 
This double stacking of pots, what does it actually do? So actually, uh, we have to seal the pot, uh -huh. but I don't have time to bake the dough to seal it. Oh. So I'm just putting something more heavy on it, the steam on it, so it pressed, cooks two ways. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got nine minutes left. Yeah. Chef Petrina, what are you expecting to taste from these two biryanis? I think cilantro and mint is used a lot in uh, like northern, yeah, a lot of Parsi cuisines as well. So I'm actually very curious. And I think it'll be more of the refreshing. And then uh, I think Chef Bala is doing something very, a little bit more traditional. Of course, sans the, the wasabi and the fermented bean curd, <laughs> yeah. which could turn out to be a new dish. What about you, Chef Heiko? I think uh, she's doing a little bit more traditional, mm. more home, uh, stick to traditions, right? Well, uh, Chef Bala, not his choice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to make, we have to make the something new. Yeah, I think the curveball, I think it's, uh, it's good for him, I think. What are you cooking now, Chef Bala? What's that? Uh, it's eggplant. Eggplant? Yep, that's right. It's really hard pumping, but uh, the saving grace is uh, I'm used to cooking biryani. So I know what goes next up in the head. I don't have to refer or think. You know, it just automatically comes. We have just under five minutes and she's going to start plating it. All right. Asam. Asam. Tamarind. Gooping out the rice Asam. now. Three minutes, Bala. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> wow. The eggplant looks really yummy. The colours are vibrant. Red, orange. Do I see a nod of approval? Yes, there was a nod. Yes. Like so that. we call that oily eggplant. It's very traditional in uh, India. And Zakia has started to plate her biryani. The condiments. Very nice. The biryani is on a... On Hold a on, two minutes. Okay, sir. Okay, with the quail egg right on top. Oh. This is our first cook-off between our finalist Zakia competing against Chef Bala. Her main ingredient is rice. And so both of them have come up with a biryani dish. One minute, speed one up, minute, speed up. And we have <clears> under seconds. a minute. One, 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 one. We have under a minute. Seconds. It's time to plate, Chef Bala. 45 seconds. It's time to pretty up and it's time to get ready. 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Oh, our judges, 30 seconds. And there we go. Oh my goodness, we have under 30 seconds. There goes. Very exciting. Come on, come on, Zakia. Yeah. Ken, Ken, Ken. Yes, yes. All the stuff. 10, Ooh. 9, 8, 7, 6, oh. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up! Step wow. away! Wow, wow, wow! I'm speechless because I see the way you just like a whirlwind doing this amazing <laughs> biryani dish. I used to work like that like 20 years back but now no more because of lack of time then I had to speed up a bit. On the scale of 1 to 10, I think maybe 7. I think that the flavour of this biryani that will wow the judge. I am so excited because this is the first time on King of Culinary, the final showdown that we have a battle of the biryani. And one's green, one's red. So it's going to be very exciting to see how this pans out. And it's up to our judges to decide. In front of you, you have Zakia's Biryani, all right? So let's dig into it and I'm sure your taste buds will go woohoo! The brandy is something different that I've ever had. It's something very, very refreshing. Never had a brand like this before. And I can taste freshness, mint, fresh coriander leaf, and all that stuff. It's a really good brandy. Thank Chef you. Petrina, what do you think? Sometimes when I eat brandy, it's like, oh, cardamom bomb or some other <laughs> spice bomb, clove. Um, I think everything here is pretty well balanced. The writer, it's cool that you use like apple and all that because it kind of helps your technical difficulty a little bit because it gives some texture. Mm. Yeah. Wow, I tell you. So you eat this with your eyes closed. Yeah, okay. You can, you can experience the flavour explosion in your mouth. You get a bit of sweetness, that spiciness, but it's not over. The savouriness of the chicken, creaminess, all coming together in the mouth. So that's great. Okay. okay. But, but, yeah, the, the rice, a little bit too wet and mushy for me. It could be drier so that you can experience the texture a little bit better. Mm. 
All right, now I'm going to let Chef Bala take over and explain how to eat his biryani. Okay, first of all, uh, I've put a banana leaf in front of you. So what you need to do, there's a bowl of water. Mm -hmm. Just sprinkle it on the banana leaf, wipe it with your hand and just pour the water from the leaf. That means you're actually cleansing the leaf. Uh -huh. So this is how we eat. I'll serve. This is everyone's favourite, I guess. The pampadam. Okay. Then now I'm serving you a lime pickle. Usually we serve sweet stuff first. Uh, that's a tradition. I didn't have time to make a dessert. I made a sweet eggplant. So every biryani needs a good raita. I, this is a very traditional raita with cucumber, onions, mm -hmm. green chilli. Okay, so now for the biryani. Here we go, the main event. Star. Mm -hmm. Wow, this, this reminds me of the time where I attended an Indian wedding. And it really feels like having a festival right here. Right. right. <laughs> and prepared in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, yeah. no less. Okay, well, bon appetit. It's time to dig in and just let us know what you think. You know, I wish every wedding that I attend will serve this. <laughs> <laughs> with bean curd and, and wasabi. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe without, but um, I want to talk about the texture of the rice. Perfect. The grains are fluffy, well absorbed the gravy. Amazing. You can uh, taste different levels of uh, spiciness. And I'm trying to detect that famous uh, wasabi. It's, it's there, but it's not there. So I think that's where, uh, you know, your touch, you know, put mm. into it. Basmati rice is nutty and it, it didn't get lost. Because mm. sometimes spices overpower the nuttiness of basmati. And um, since today's star is rice, I think it did a really good job. Because it didn't overpower, even the wasabi didn't kill it. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe it's the fermented bean curd that make it super tasty. It's like you put MSG in. <laughs> I'm keeping it for later. <laughs> well, thank you judges. You know, it's going to be very, very tough right now because our judges will be in the deliberating room discussing and wondering whether they should or should not award the knives to Zakia. So, Chef Heikel, you have witnessed the cook-off. So, will you or will you not award the knife to Zakia? I will not. Oh. I think the main ingredient is rice, right? Yeah. I think the rice is a little bit mushy. There's no bite to it for me. But I want to take this idea, bring back to my restaurant, and do it into a risotto. And I call it your risotto. <laughs> All right? Wow. There you go, Zakia. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you have witnessed the cook off, Chef Petrina. So, will you or will you not award the knife to Zakia? Unfortunately, I will not. Ah, okay. Both of you use basmati rice. Um, but I felt the nuttiness and the original taste of basmati was a little bit lost in your dish. Didn't quite cut it for me. And uh, Zaki, at the moment, you haven't got any knives on the board. But not to worry, we have Daniel for you. So you have witnessed the cook-off. Yeah. So will you or will you not award the knife to Zaki? No, I will not. Oh, Zakia, we are sorry that you haven't been awarded any knives in this particular cook-off. Good food has the, has the power to bring you back to your favourite celebration or just remind you of the sense of comfort and love. So, I got it all from Chef Bala's dish. You just met a very strong yeah. competitor. It yeah. was a really, really, really formidable foe. Chef Bala, congratulations. Thank you. You are the Briani king. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Zakia, don't be disheartened because you have one more yeah. cook off, and that is against Chef Eric Teo. Okay, <laughs> so you still have a chance to get three knives. I cooked biryani because she gave me rice. But if she had given me prawn, then I would have cooked something else, probably something more modern. But I think rice, um, she could have avoided rice when it comes to challenging me. Yep. I probably made the wrong decision to use rice as my key ingredient. Uh, of course, a bit sad, uh, but, um, but uh, I think the journey is not ended, uh, and I will still fight. Right now, it's time for the second cook-off for Hui. Let's invite her down to the arena. Hui, come on down. Right now, 
is the moment of truth. What is your main ingredient? My main ingredient is... Chicken. Chicken! The whole chicken or half a chicken? Or half? Whole chicken. A whole chicken. So, Chef Bala, good luck. Okay. There we go. Do the chicken run. <laughs> right, man. I thought she's going to give me uh, something different like sea cucumber. Some weird stuff. Yeah, man. some weird stuff. You know, I was thinking all these kind of things in my mind, but... <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Chicken follow you all the way. Follow you all the way. I can feel it. At least, at least I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> so probably I do something like a tandoori chicken. So I'm going to use quarter piece, gunpowder. Gunpowder? Oh. Mm. It is shooting how many rounds there? The rest of the chicken, the bone, everything, the neck, everything is going to go into the rasam, which is a, is a broth. So I'll serve it separately. When they eat, they just have to pour the broth. Good. Okay, good. Okay, I need to choose my plate. Let's go, baby. Well done, bro. Wait, do you normally cook something like this at home for your family? Uh, sometimes I go cook. Okay, and what does your husband say about this dish? Uh, can eat. Can eat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, everyone ready? Ready. All right, Hui, your time starts now. It's going to be exciting to see what this is all about because I don't know, uh, 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 Chef Bob. Judging by the uh, challenge that I had with her last week, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, she can pull her magic out of her sleeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, she, the, the whole garden is going into the hot water. <laughs> what have you put inside? Lemon grass. Lemon grass. Oh, oh you are very oh, strong. Oh, huh? I will step away. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> hey, lemongrass not easy to crack. Yeah. <laughs> I smell this yeah. kaffir lime yeah. leaves as well. Um, the lemongrass got pandan, I think, went in as well, yeah. right? The, the three things. <laughs> and in the oil, we've got the shallots, the lemongrass, as well as oh, what's the little small things here? The yellow ones. Oh, garlic. Oh, okay. Uh, garlic. The garlic. I see. Oh, the garlic. 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 Okay. From a garden. She's smashing turmeric. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what is that being pounded now? It's ginger. Ginger, ginger, okay. And there goes the watermelon. Now, this is interesting because it's going to be quite sweet, I think. Now, there is like... The whole garden is here. Wait, I can ask you what is here? What is this for? Yeah. You are making a, a soup or something here? Yeah. That is a combination I've never had, Daniel. Yeah, yeah me too. But what I like is she doesn't <laughs> use sugar. She uses the yeah. sweetness of fruits to bring out the sweetness in the drinks. Which is great. Yeah, it's really healthy and refreshing mm. drink. Oh, what did you just pour into the chicken's... Um, uh, seasoning. Fish sauce, mm -hmm. pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Okay, she's taking she out... Okay, she's st you're stuffing it okay wow. with what you took out and goes into the oil. Wow, quite interesting. Okay, the watermelon's on the chopping board. I've never seen a watermelon that size or so. At the moment, I think the scents and the smells that are coming out. We're smelling all the kefir from here. The kefir? Yeah. I'm getting the kefir from here as well. More watermelons coming out of that huge watermelon. Yeah, so I, it looks quite interesting what she's doing right. There's more watermelon goes into the drink. <laughs> Chef Bala, well, what are your thoughts? What's going through your mind right now? No, no, I, I forgot the process I'm going <laughs> <laughs> to... I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I'm just amazed. Right? <laughs> She's basting the chicken with the oil. It's oil. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but why is it not splattering? Very slow heat. Very low, slow heat. heat. Low heat, is it? The, the oil? But it's like really... It's like oil poaching, uh, maybe like oil poach. Well, what's going to happen <laughs> is uh, to have a good sear on the skin and just to give a nice crust. Oh, All right, there. Oh, no, it goes into the drink. It's Ooh. not the drink. <laughs> very <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm very confused. She keeps me, me on my toes. I thought it was going to go in here, but it's going into the dates. We're having a watermelon chicken drink. The <laughs> <laughs> All right. Every minute got surprised. I know. Wow, I thought it was going to go in here, but it didn't. Anyway, <laughs> 10, 9, <laughs> 8, 7, 6. Chef Bala, please come on down to the arena! Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, what
What are you about to do for us, Chef Bata? Get the chicken first. Okay. Yeah. And I think you kind of have in mind what you are going to do already when you went to get those ingredients. Oh, yes. Yeah. Is yours going to be a tradition? Oh, wow! wow. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Everyone! That's early. That was fast. I really had to remind her to ring the So Hui has rung the bell, which means a surprise attack has just happened. All right, Hui, I need to ask you, why did you ring the bell for the surprise attack so early on? Because I cook until now, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> <laughs> which is great. That's a great strategy. So basically, she's giving herself time to figure out what the next steps are. All right, so it's time to find out what the surprise attack is. Let's bring out the three platters. And before us are the three platters A, B and C for the surprise attack. Can you please choose A, B or C? C. C. All right, let's just see right now what the surprise attack is, okay? Chepala, are you ready? Ready. Here we go. K-O-C. Uh. Kick or cook. Uh. <laughs> Alright, we know what that means. So right now, we are going to bring out the K-O-C, which are all ingredients. And then Hui, now it's for you to choose K, O or C. 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 And the Chef Bala will have to infuse into his chicken. This is... Coffee? coffee powder. Wow. All right, coffee powder. All right. Okay, okay. Let's continue. The timer will restart now. All right. Wow, I saw Chef Bala taste the coffee powder. Is it to your standard? The best part is I don't drink coffee. You don't drink coffee? Okay, well, then the chicken will. <laughs> okay. Now, you can smell everything that's coming out of that bath. The watermelon has gone in. So, how? I mean, oh, huh? there's more herbs going in there. Or is that our dessert? <laughs> I'm very confused now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Hui knows what she's yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> what are you mashing? Sauce. What is inside here? Huh? Uh, sauce, then uh, pepper, okay. then lemon crust. Ah. And uh, chili. Chef Bala, what are you even cooking? Something like a tandoori mm. and a crispy chicken skin. So the rest of the chicken, I'm make, using it to make a chicken rasam. All right, in the meantime, I'm very curious on how it's going to taste. And there's more pounding going on. Chef Petrina, what are you expecting from Hui here? What flavours are coming She's through? keeping me on my toes, man. Still, right? <laughs> I want to ask Hui, right? Is this a very uh, traditional recipe? This taste is from old people last time cooked. Vietnam have cooked. And uh, Cambodia also got cooked. Oh. Lao also have. At the moment, I think Chef Bala is just doing a lot of prep right now. I see many kinds of spices going into the pan. That's curry leaves and chilli. In the meantime, Chef Bala has started frying the chilies and the spices and the onions have gone in. What do you put in there, Hui? Condensed milk. Condensed milk? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like... <laughs> so the sweetness of the watermelon not enough. Condensed milk also go in. I am clueless, <laughs> yeah. man, to what she's cooking. And the smells are happening again yeah. over on this side. Very exciting. Yeah, Chef Bala, you've removed the skin of the chicken. Nah. Yes, I'm going to deep fry the skin. <gasps> Ooh, deep fried chicken skin. So this is a traditional way of doing rasam. You don't yeah. cut the tomato. tomato. Smash it. You have to like... smash it. Is there a reason why? No time, uh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Save time. Save time, huh? <laughs> okay, wow. Look Musical at... pepper. She, she brought her own grinder to grind the pepper. It's very involved. Yeah. And it goes into the watermelon juice drink. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm very curious on how it's going to taste. It looks very anyhow. It's but... killing me. No, but I know. I know exactly. What I said, is it this? looks anyhow. Okay. I put many years to fry out. Yeah. Not anyhow. Wait, I want to ask. How many times have your husband ate this watermelon chicken dish? One week, eat one time. Wow. One week, eat one time. Mary, how many years? One week, wow. eat one time. No cows. <laughs> <laughs> 
secret. <laughs> the smells coming from Chef Bala is quite amazing right now. Yep. What are you putting there right now, Chef? Uh, cumin powder. Cumin powder. Turmeric powder. Turmeric. And lots of black pepper. Lots of black pepper. What are you doing to the watermelon, Wei? Right? Cuff flour. Cuff flour. Ooh. 15 minutes. Every week you cook for your husband also got carving. Yeah, eh? really? Yeah. Uh, wow. Sometimes, if I feel want to carve, I will carve. Wow. <laughs> it depends on the mood, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All that is going into the pot. This is the rasam you're really talking good. about, is it? Yes, yes, yes. What leaves did you just put in? This is a moringa leaf. Moringa mm. leaves. Wow, yeah. okay. Smells really good, huh? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Once more, we're going to remind everyone watching that the key ingredient is the whole chicken. So at the end of the day, we have to taste and to see, to smell what Chef Bala and Hui have done with the whole chicken. Okay, we've got about 10 minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what, what is all that? Grated coconut. Grated coconut, okay. Okay, I see the cottage cheese going on to the saucepan. Still haven't found out what we're going to do with the coffee powder, so that's still a mystery. When Hussein was prompting, I really uh, made up my mind that I'm going to mix uh, the gunpowder together, the coffee powder, and toss the chicken. Seven minutes, Bala. Was it brown sugar you added then? The brown sugar and the gunpowder. And uh, the pot powder? Gunpowder. Gunpowder. Gun okay, there you go. Oh, see Daisy? Yes, chicken going in there. She's so relaxed. And so, yeah. Chef Bala is scooping all that out. Sorry, what is that called again? It's oh, moringa no. leaves. Moringa leaves. With okay. coconut. With coconut. coconut. Is, that, is that a special name for this dish or it's just a... They used to cook this during Tipavali. Okay. When they do uh, ancestral prayers and offerings for ancestors. And right now, Hui is scooping the watermelon concoction into the watermelon. Um, the chicken goes in as well. Five minutes. Thank you. We have five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, about there. And still, the coffee powder hasn't been put in. So, how are we going to infuse that into the main ingredient, which is chicken? Whoa, there goes the chicken. It goes in. Wow. In the meantime, we're heaping whatever that was in that pot into the watermelon. It's going to be so interesting right now. And that's the chicken skin. There you go. Okay, four minutes, Chef. Coffee powder. And the peppers are there, being peeled. And Hui tosses it in. So I think it's time to start wrapping up and decorating and doing whatever you have to do to finish this process. Okay, so... Yes, the coffee, coffee powder. powder. Yep. Here we go. Coffee powder mm -hmm. and the gunpowder. And the gunpowder. So I'm mixing both of it. Mixing both. Okay. So coat the chicken with this. Three minutes, three minutes. Okay. Three minutes. What, what do you want? It? You're going to take it out, is it? No. The chicken skin is going into yes, the pan. Two All right, minutes, time chef. is kind of running out. We have about two, under two and a half minutes. Okay. Oh my oh. gosh. Okay. What? The? And there go the flowers. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> one minute forty seconds. Okay, less than two minutes, huh? Yeah, go okay. On. And there go the there goes the, the wow. garden. What? Yeah. Another wow. island. <laughs> it's another centerpiece. Another <laughs> island. Another centerpiece. This one. Okay. This is the food, right? Yeah. What's that for? Confirm got something. What is, what, 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 what? <laughs> the, 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 the hooks, I, I'm sure yeah, there, there is a re Oh my goodness. Wow. There, there, those are what the hooks are for. One minute. Things. Okay. Chef has started plating. One minute. One minute left. Okay, the coffee powder. The coffee powder is all oh, the coffee mixture sprinkled onto our chicken. So it's going to be interesting to taste that. Get over the tandoori. 40 seconds. We have 40 seconds. All right. Wait, oh, almost oh, there. Oh. Don't forget about the rasam as well. Okay. 20 seconds. Come on. Come on. All right, come on. 20 seconds, everyone. We have hardly enough time. We can do this. We can do this. Both of you. All right, here we go. And the final stretch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I've cooked paneer, I've cooked chicken, I've cooked moringa, I've cooked chicken rasa. 
but I've never put all of this together in a plate. So this is the first time I'm doing that. Looking at the effort she has put in, you know, I, I, I mean, really commendable, her efforts. This chicken I only steam. Steam for one hour plus. I know the taste is very nice. I want to bring out this taste for everyone to try. But like, only 40 minutes, I cannot make. Then I try to fight. We are now at crunch time, and it's up to our judges to taste and decide. Wow, look at that. Next to Daniel, we have Gardens by the Hue. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, Chef Bala's uh, creation. Okay, so what I've made today is uh, it's a paneer crumble. So I used brown sugar and gunpowder. So it's under season because there's a broth. You need to pour the broth over. It's chicken rasam actually. Pour it over and eat it together with the moringa and the chicken and the paneer. So you get different taste palettes in a single mouth. Chicken is actually very well cooked. Mm. And actually the flavours went in the chicken quite well, despite the amount of time you're given. Mm. And the coffee wasn't too bitter. I think uh, it's a very smart move to put the rasam and then when you pour everything, it gives everything a good uh, kick in the butt. Mm. So it lifts the dish up with the acidity. Mm. And I love acidity. I think it's a job well done. Thank you. Yeah. Three words. Packs a punch. Mm. So when you punch. first have that first mouthful, wow, it's like there's a kick, there's a punch inside and it excites my whole palate. The more you have it, so many layers, yeah. it makes a person want to continue eating it. Okay. Right now, we are going to move on to Hui's creation. She's carved a yeah, lotus. lotus. Yeah. If I'm not wrong, lotus is the national flower of Vietnam. I yeah. see. And there's there are flowers inside the bath as well. This chicken is in the kampong. We eat this. No need to go market buy anything at the garden half. You want chili, just plug at the beside and put it and eat. Use hand and eat. And okay. use hand, you tear out. Wow. You leave it with the sauce. Oh. It's pork tender. Here we go. Taste test. I'm very curious because we were all not knowing what we were going to taste. Yeah, I'm like, wait, why are you cooking? Yeah. <laughs> so has chicken absorbed all the goodness of the, of the broth? Oh, when I first tasted it, there's so much going on. There's that tanginess of the tomatoes, the spiciness, but it's not over. But back to the key ingredient, which is chicken. Chicken. Soft, succulent, tear off the bone very easily, and it absorbs a bit of that sweetness of the fruits. Mm. She put the chicken, condensed milk, Roses reminds me of bandung, no? <laughs> so I thought it's gonna be like bandung chicken, right? But when I taste this, everything gels, it comes together. Wow! This is wow. I thought the watermelon would be sweet, but it works very well with the chicken. Mm. So you actually don't lose the taste of the chicken. And then when you add the different sauces, it gives you like different dimensions. So it's really like wow. how you want to make the dish from here depends on how you. You know, I see. what you dip it in, which I thought was very interesting. Oh my goodness! Okay, it's time for our judges to deliberate as to whether we are going to award Hui with one knife, two knives, three knives, or none at all. We'll find out. Daniel, you have witnessed the cook-off. So Daniel, mm. will you or will you not? Award Hui with a knife. Yes, I will. Hui! Congratulations, you've got one knife. I think at the end of the day, she prepared the chicken very well and the whole integrity of it from the skin all the way to the inside. Mm. So I thought maybe Chef Bala has included the chicken skin. It will make that whole dish perfect. Yeah. You just missed by a skin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, look. Voila. Your first knife for this round. Okay, Chef Michael, will you or will you not award the knife to Hui? Of course, I will. Congratulations, Hui. Your Second knife, which means, Hui, you have automatically already won this challenge and you also get your $3,000 and uh, I am going to put the knife next to your first one so you can take pictures together. But will you get a clean sweep, okay? Chef Petrina, will you or will you not award the knife to Hui? I 
will. It's a clean sweep. <laughs> Congratulations, Hui. Um, Hui, you put in very delicate care into handling the chicken. There were many steps taken to the final product. Minus all the fufu of you know your presentation and everything, it all boils down to the chicken. I thought it was very well cooked. So there's one happy family. Look at on the board, six nights. <laughs> Congratulations, Wei. When I get free now, I feel surprised. This is something uh, a lot of us have not seen before. It's something new and uh, it's also tasty. So definitely it's a deserving win for Wei. <laughs> wow, so Wei has secured a place in the final showdown. And next week, it's Rasati and Zakia facing off against Chef Eric Chiu. So join us next week when we'll see whether Razati or Zakia will be in the final showdown, okay? See you next week! <laughs> he said you gave him all the bad parts. <laughs> I have the same parts. Ah, she has the same parts, okay? Don't even blame people. Fair, fair. She's very fair, no? Come on, girl! Come on, girl! What are you waiting for, man? Get to work! Scaring me. I'll see you to plate. Red, la! <laughs> Stop putting that. I only got 30 minutes. You put so many ingredients, I cannot cook. <laughs> Keep Alamak. going. <laughs> what I'm going to do with it? <laughs> well, if I got extra, we will have this for supper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh? Wow, why the face like that? What's that face about? Ah, he looks happy. Okay,